Hello, my name's Julian Edgar, and I'm the author of the book Car Electrical and Electronic Systems. What I want to do in today's video is talk about multipole switches. Wow, multipole switches. They're switches that allow you to switch from one circuit to another or switch multiple circuits at the same time. In car electrical systems, they're very, very useful. And if you have your head around them, you can employ them as well. So all switches have what are called poles and throws. Poles and throws, what's that mean? Well, let's start off with a simple, straightforward switch. Here we have a switch. It's a simple on-off switch. Now, what's the pole? This terminal here is the pole. What's the throw? Well, where can you switch that terminal? So this one's got a single pole and a single throw. It can only go in one direction. You sometimes call that a single pole, single throw switch. Easy, isn't it? Remember, the pole's the input, the throw's where you can switch that input. Let's do a more complicated switch. Now, have a look at this one. We can see it's still only got a single pole, still only got a single input, but look where we can switch it. We can switch it down that way, or we can switch it up that way. So instead of having a single throw, it's got two throws. What do we call it? We call it a single pole double throw switch. Single pole double throw switch. Now, I better clean that off because I'm gonna run out of uh, run out of room. So Single pole, single throw, single pole, double throw. Hmm, what else can we do? Well, let's have a look at this one. But we've seen that one before, haven't we? It's a single pole, double throw. But let me add a bit more. But haven't you just drawn the same thing again? Ah, but let me connect them. Now, this connecting bar isn't electrically conductive. It's just a mechanical connection. Now, when we move it up, we connect this one to that, and we connect this circuit to that. This pole goes to that one. We are able to switch two circuits at once. So we have a double pole, and we can switch it both directions, double throw. Double pole, double throw. Wow, we can do a lot by flicking the same toggle switch in two different directions, can't we? The same switch lever controls two inputs, which are able to be switched in two different outputs, two different directions of output. Okay, what about this one? We have a single pole, we all know what that means now, and then, look. Wow, what we can do is we can switch it to four different positions. Now, we could call it a single pole quad throw, but we don't do that. We call it a single pole four throw. Okay, and it's a rotary switch. We go click, 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 and we can switch it to each of those different outputs. And you can get rotary switches, which have got even more throws, eight throws. So you can switch eight different circuits. Now, what might they be? Well, if we put 12 volts there, and if we put a, a pump there, and we put a fan there, and we put a light there, and we put a buzzer there, and if you're thinking, why on earth would you do all this? I don't know, I'm just using it as an example. Well, when we switch the switch to there, the pump runs. When we switch it to the next position, the fan runs. And when we switch to the next position, the light, and then the buzzer. So we can operate four different outputs with the one uh, rotary switch and with the one input. So, when you're looking at a switch, how many poles has it got, inputs? And how many throws has it got? How many positions can you switch that input to? And you can usually work a lot of that out by looking at the terminals that are on the back of the switch. If you can't do it from the terminals, have a look at the specification sheet. When you are selecting a switch, say to yourself, what number of poles do I need? And what number of throws do I need? And once you've got it clear in your head, you can apply it in all sorts of different circuits. It makes it so interesting when you're laying them out on a piece of paper, actually drawing where that uh, power is going to go and how you can switch it in its direction as you want to achieve what you want to achieve. The book's called Car Electrical and Electronic Systems. Uh, it's out now, and I think you'll find a lot of interest in it. And of course, I cover switches in that book. Thank you.